Hi friends. So vision boards are a really powerful manifestation tool. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a vision board on Pinterest. Now be sure to stay till the end because I have a tip on how I used my vision board in a slightly unusual way that helped me manifest moving cross country to my dream city. And one quick note, I do have a blog post that goes with this video if you want to read through it later for reference. So jumping straight into it. The first step to making your vision board on Pinterest is to choose your board theme. I think most of us know vision boards as like being for a particular year or being for our life overall, but just so you know, you can also use um, your Pinterest vision board as a specific theme for maybe manifesting a dream vacation or a dream relationship or for moving to the city you want to move to like I did. So just take a quick minute and think about what kind of Pinterest board, vision board you would like to create. Step two is actually creating your vision board. To create your Pinterest board for your vision board, go to Pinterest, click on your profile photo, click down here on saved, and then click on the little plus sign down here to create a new board. I like to name my board something that implies that I have what I want, not something that creates lack. So for example, you wouldn't want to say things I want in 2022 because that implies that you don't have them and that's just a simple manifestation thing that you want to speak things into existence by getting into the energy of already having them. And personally, I also like to keep my vision board secret. So I will check this to make the board secret so, people, it, uh, so it cannot be publicly viewed. Click Create and your board has been created. You can just exit out of that. Now the next step is to add photos. So hopefully you have in mind what you want in the year ahead. Maybe you did some goal planning or resolution planning. If you did not, just to let you know, I have a free vision board quick start guide as well as checklist and printable with graphics. So you can read through this to get some ideas on exactly what you want to put on your vision board. But step three is the part that's gonna take the most time, but it'll also be the most fun. Now there's two options for adding photos. You can add photos inside Pinterest or outside of Pinterest. So adding photos inside of Pinterest first, click on the search icon up here and then type in whatever it is that you want to call in into your year or whatever your board theme is. So maybe you wanna to go to Paris your search will automatically search your own pins. You can change this to all pins to find all the pins related to Paris. And then any of these that really speak to you, you can add them up here. If your board isn't automatically showing, you can type in the board name to pull it up and then click save. And then feel free to just scroll through and add any other photos that speak to you. Maybe you're also wanting to move into your dream home. So maybe you have an idea for how you want your bedroom to look in your dream home. So you might want to search for that next. And maybe you want to go with something that is a little bit minimalist like this. You can select this pin and save it to your board. You can also type in aesthetic and then that will bring in different, um, you know, photos that are related to a particular aesthetic that you like. So maybe you want it to be a cozy aesthetic. And Pinterest gave me some recommendations. So if you're not sure, you can see what Pinterest recommends, but maybe you like one of these photos. You can pick any of these and add as many of these as you like to your Pinterest board. Another thing is instead of typing in aesthetic, if you have a color scheme, you can also type in the color and then that will pull up some other things that are related to what you're looking for and just save it to your board. Now say you really like this pin and you want pins that are similar. If you click on the pin to expand it and then scroll down, you will find other pins that look like it. So if you really like this chair, you can find more pictures of the chair, or if you kind of just more like the general aesthetics, then you can find any of these down here and then save those as well. In terms of adding pins that are outside of Pinterest, what you wanna do is find your board. So click on your profile, click saved, find your board, click on that. And then you can click on this plus sign down here and then click 
create pin. And then any photos you have saved on your computer, you can drag and drop those here, add your title, add your description. If you don't have any photos saved, you can search for those through Google or using another photo site like Unsplash. And then just select your board up here and hit publish. In terms of what graphics to add, I think this is one of the interesting things about Pinterest because you don't have to do just photos. So say for example, you wanna have a really abundant year. You may wanna type in something like, money affirmation and then you'll find a bunch of pins either that you've already pinned or you can change this to all pins and then find pins that call in the energy that you want to bring in in 2022 or for whatever your board theme is and you can add those another thing that's really fun is to add resources so say for example going back to the paris example you don't want to just pull like general Paris photos. Maybe you want to have some specific places that you really want to see. So maybe you check out this post and you really like some of these hidden gems that this article recommends and you want to visit some of them. So you can pin this to call in not just Paris, but the specific places that are referenced in this photo. And you can find a lot of different guides in Pinterest because content creators create so many wonderful resources for us. So you can get itineraries that you might want to do or restaurants that you might want to visit. And lastly, in terms of how I used Pinterest to manifest moving to my dream city, something that's unique to Pinterest that you can't really do with a paperboard is you can constantly use it. So with a paperboard, you know, once you've made it, unless you have a lot of white space, you really don't have any room for new photos. So you kind of create it and then you're done. With Pinterest, you can always add more photos. So what I did is I used my board to get really excited about moving to my dream city, which is San Francisco, um, which I did move to successfully in 2018 in part thanks to this. And so what I would do is when I would get excited about thinking to about moving to San Francisco, I would look for San Francisco photos or guides or resources. And I would use this to get excited about moving there. And I would think I would picture myself like standing here taking pictures or here on Baker Beach taking pictures. I did do a photo shoot here, actually. Um, and then I would you know, find places I wanted to visit. I would look for coffee shops where I'd say, oh, I want to eat this. And so I would pin it and just use that to get my energy really positive about moving to my dream city. The key here is to do this when you're feeling really good and use it to create that full energy of already having it. A quick tip here is the way I like to think about it is say you were planning a vacation and you knew that the trip was already booked. You knew it was already yours. The tickets were booked. The hotels were booked. What would you do if you knew you already had the thing, right? So for me, I would be looking for restaurants I want to visit. I'd be looking for places I wanted to go, places I wanted to take pictures, things I'd want to see. Maybe I want to do these touristy things when I'm there. And so I would get really excited about my upcoming move and find different things that really made me feel like it was definitely happening. And I would pin those and I would do this not every day, but just whenever I felt really excited about moving and I wanted to harness that powerful positive energy to manifest moving to my dream city. So that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up because that really supports my channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and I will link this blog post if you want to reference it later down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.